what's going on YouTube this video is for the double standards I'm seeing with the passport bros and getting fluled out now how is it that women are getting fluled out not just in America either all over the world and men in the US wasn't attacking women we was not attacking women I mean yes men was getting mad for not getting what they wanted the cheeks but wasn't up in arms about women flying all over to meet a man. We wasn't up in arms about that. Now all of a sudden men are saying get your passports and all these women are attacking men. That's a double standard. I mean both men and women are taking the risk. But it's only okay when women jump up and go somewhere. Even for their girls trip. Then they want to ask us what's wrong with the dating scene in America. It's just that women can do all they desire no questions asked but men should have no options no opinions no life that's why the manosphere keep getting larger and larger i remember when i was getting game from the puas on soswab.com that then was so different than now i mean men still believed in relationships with women but society led us to big town if MGTOW led us to SYSBM or it more, which led us to the red pill, then the red pill leading us to the passport bros, all overlapping. And there's a couple of other sectors in there that um, I'm failing to mention right now. Men are starting to see the game that women are playing for what it is. And then we adjust. And ladies, you really can't get mad at that. We not salty about your choices. All we're saying is, if your choices don't meet our standards, we not rocking with you. You really can't get mad at that. But for some reason you do, some reason you do. But let's check out some of these double standards. Passport bros getting flued out. What's good y'all? I don't know who needs to hear this, but I keep seeing way too many videos of girls getting flued out and left. Sis, these are some tips for you if you're getting flued out. My flued out days is over. I'm trying to really like build with somebody and all of that good stuff. But this don't got nothing to do with me. It's got everything to do with y'all. I don't want to hear nothing about my hair. I know, bitch. I'm about to go get it done right now. So first and foremost, you should never be getting flued out if you don't got no money. Don't fall into the trick of a man being like, oh, don't worry. I'll take care of you when you get here. You know, you don't got nothing to worry about. You should always be thinking like 10 steps ahead like what if and sadly we don't want to like think the worst in somebody but nowadays you have to because if that man say get up out this hotel room because you ain't giving up nothing sis book your own hotel room okay in that city just so that he could see i know it'd be romantic when dudes be like um send me your information i'm about to book your flight right now i know it looks cute but don't do that here's why if a dude get petty on you, sometimes these dudes be, they be worse than females. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. They will really dead cancel your flight home. And it's just like, yeah, you should be able to afford your own flight, but why not just have them bread sent to you? You book your own flight, so you don't even got that worry. So always have like a plan B. Bitch, not that type of plan B. A plan B meaning like a backup place where you could go stay, reach out to some friends or whatever, just so that like, if god forbid you and your friend city and that man acting crazy you could go pull up on your friend and lastly don't be stupid out here always give your people your location there's at least five people right now that always got my location on regardless if i am home or regardless if i'm out the country like they always know where i'm at don't be dumb out here because this world is too crazy you never know what somebody's into and somebody could be real cool over the phone until you meet them in real life and then you'd be like oh this is what I thought I was getting versus what I got. Mm. Hey baddies, welcome to Bad Bitch 101. Today we are discussing rules and regulations when getting flued out. These are my rules. If you don't like them, don't follow them. Simple. Okay, so when a dude says that he wants to fly you out, first of all, I want to know the, where, the destination. Where are we going? Because baby, I done been to Miami a thousand times. Are you taking me to Tulum? 
are we going to London? Like, where are we going? So that's always what I want to know. Then, not only that, you need to ask yourself, do you? Do I even know you? Because it'd be random trying to fly girls out. Like, do I know you? How well do I know you? Am I comfortable with you? How comfortable am I with you? Have I been intimate with you? Do I plan on being intimate with you? Ladies, if a dude is flying you out, and I'm telling you this, like, I'm just telling you this, okay? Because this is a real story. He wants some coochie. Stub two. Okay, so the sleeping arrangements. Where am I sleeping at? If I am not, if you are not my dude, like I'm dating, or I haven't been intimate with you, or I don't plan on being intimate with you, or we're not like a close, like, you know what I'm saying? Give me a hotel. That's standard. I'm not staying with you. I'm not staying at your high rise. I don't care. Like, I don't care. I don't care. Give me a hotel. Make sure the hotel is in your name, ladies. Make sure when you get there at the hotel, like, it's not going to be, oh, I have to get my card for incidentals and all that stuff. Like, it needs to be taken care of. Your lodging needs to be taken care of off rip. When it comes to booking a flight, if you can get him to Zelle, Cash App, Apple Pay, PayPal, wire you the money, have him send you the money for that flight so you are in control of your flight completely now if he don't want to do that for whatever reason we're gonna let him go ahead and get the flight but for one you need to make sure it's a round trip do not give me no one-way ticket you need to make sure it's a round trip and you need to make it your business to have all your flight details don't just give me the boarding um plane flight details before i board you need to have your coming back times locations everything you need to have all that taken care of before you get on that first plane Always have your own money. Always have your own money. These these men act stupid. They act up. They act the fool. Okay, and when they realize they ain't get no, you know what I'm saying? Have your own money. If stuff go left, you can skedaddle and you can boss up on a dude. And you know I don't need you. Always come back with something to show for that trip. Whether it's a bag, whether you got your hair done by the baddest stylist in that city, whether you went on a shopping spree, whether you got racks some money, come back with a souvenir, bitch. Now, I hope this is common sense, but please tell your loved ones, your best friends, your mama, whoever you feel like you can trust, please let them know where you're going and who you're going with. Always put your safety first. If it don't feel right, get out of there. If it don't look right, get out of there. We not doing unsafe stuff for the sake of getting flued out. Like, be smart about stuff. Uh oh. I wanna go. I wanna go. You lame nigga, cause you ain't getting no. Nah, get out. Nigga, get out whatever, of my car. Whatever. Just get out of my me, car. Just make sure you give me my fucking confirmation number. What? Like, ain't no confirmation number. What you mean? Ain't no confirmation of my kiss the flight. I catch your flight. Buy your own ticket. You mentioned I'm going through cheeks? No. Yeah. Get your bag. I ain't even in your bag. Here, your bag right there. I came here with nothing. Are you serious? Cool. Go. I'm dead serious. You ain't want to give me no cheeks? You got a deal. Nigga, you're lame as fuck. I'm not paying for your ticket. Because you can't get no cheeks. I'm saying. You're crazy. I'm saying you got to go. You got to go. I'm not paying for your ticket. I'm not paying for none of that shit. You're lame as fuck. You can't get no pussy. All right, all right. Buy your own ticket. Buy your own ticket. Buy your own ticket. She got buy your own ticket now. What about you? What are you gonna do? Start a revolution. The modern day woman is very masculine. Society and the feminists have skewed and altered the matrix into having women believe get a good education and a good job and you don't need a man. And you're seeing the percentages and the numbers and the statistics go up. More and more people are single and less and less birth rates are happening in America. And men are tired of it. So what's happening now, men are getting passports and going overseas to find a woman. And American women are upset and sideways about it. Number one response is they can't handle us. And for once in your life, you're correct. They can't. Nobody else can handle you. And on top of that, nobody else wants to handle you. When a woman says this, nobody can handle me. That's why they're doing it. They're mad, they're bitter. What is the outcome that you want? Because if you're a woman that says you don't need a man, then you have no business commenting on this video and disagreeing with me. Hey, excuse me. I hope you know CPR. You're taking my breath away. <laughs> What's going on, my brother? I started pushing the passport boys. The reason why is because I'm targeting 20 to 40 year old males to go out the country and explore themselves. It doesn't matter whether it's the passport boys, 
Passport Bros, International Gents, Blue Book Gentlemen, or what name we're called under, as long as we all support each other because the main idea is for us to go outside the country and explore the options. As I say all the time, bro, we need a culture change, and I support you fully. I even repost your videos, and I tell people to look at your content, sir. So I pray that you do the same with us as we support all of the men to get their passports and find women that were raised to be wise. You know why? Because we're them passport boys. Uh, no, it's... <laughs> no, it's a caprinos enamorar in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, man, we out here in Brazil, man. My first day out here in Brazil, man. I couldn't wait to get these motherfucking caprinos, man. You know what I mean? Oh, que delicia. <laughs> <laughs> For real, you hear me? <laughs> yeah, man, shit, man. Out here in Brazil, man, shit, man. You know, that's what we do out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit, man, you know, y'all need to get out here, man. Get your passport, quit bullshitting, you know what I mean? <laughs>